Hi, my name is Durga Prasad. This tutorial is about deployment of cardiovascular disease risk level assessment and medication suggestions. The application is about assessing cardiovascular failure risk level using patients vitals such as weight, age, systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, LDL, HDL and thereby providing medication suggestions to physicians. Let's see how to deploy the application. In the PDF, in the submitted PDF, scroll down to tutorial or manual section. In here, you'll find the link. Click on the link. The link will open up Smart App Launcher. In here, there are two things we should mainly consider. In the FHIR version, it should be R4, and the launch type should be provided EHR launch, and the simulate launch within the EHR user interface should be unchecked. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and you'll see the, the URL link from the GitHub account. Click on the launch app icon. You should be able to see the smart EHR popping up and uh, it's going to ask for username and password. So the username should be Dr. Alien 226 Core 117 and the password can be any. So this login is for demonstration purposes only. Any password will be accepted like in here now click on the login button it's going to ask you for a patient to select i'm going to select the first patient here just for the demonstration purpose so as you can see the first patient name is barney abbott and the gender is male and the date of birth you can see here and uh, all the patient vitals such as height weight systolic blood pressure diastolic blood pressure, LDL, HDL, and age, and the COVID and the cardiovascular disease history, and also cardiovascular disease risk level is being shown in here, and the medication suggestions. These are for physicians to see what medication the patient has been used before and what medication he can suggest depending on the patient vitals so the another thing is when you click on the uh, when you click on the launch app if the app doesn't show up then i would recommend to open up the url in incognito mode i'm going to show you how to do that so right click on the link and uh, open link in private window now the smart app application launcher is going to show up now again we need to make sure that the simulate button is unchecked and the version is in r4 now click on the launch app since we are in private window it's going to ask for the github credentials I'm going to use mine my credentials you can use yours and then the username and password can be any click on login now you can select any patient it's going to pop up with the patient's vitals and uh, patient's data and all if you can see here the CVD history, since the patient doesn't have any cardiovascular disease history, it's showing none. And the risk level for this patient is high, and the medication suggestions are given in here for the physicians. Thanks for going through the presentation.